a fan of your work is Andre Kapathy, and he's, uh, amongst many things, also uh, writes occasionally a great blog. And he came up with this idea, I don't know if he coined the term, but of software 2.0, uh, where the programming is done in the space of configuring these uh, artificial neural networks. Is there some sense in which that would be the future of programming for us humans, where we're less uh, doing like Python-like programming and more, um, how would you, how would that look like? But basically doing the hyperparameters of something akin to a biological system and watching it go and keeping it, adjusting it and creating some kind of feedback loop within the system so it corrects itself. Yeah. And then we watch it over time accomplish the goals we wanted to accomplish. Is that kind of the, the dream of the the dogs that you describe in yeah, the nature paper? Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, that, that's what you just painted is a, is a very good um, description of our efforts at regenerative medicine as a kind of somatic psychiatry. So the idea is that you're not, you, you know, you're not trying to micromanage. I mean, think, think about the limitations of, of, of a lot of the medicines today. We try to interact down at the level of pathways, right? So, so we're trying to micromanage it. What the, what's the problem? Well, one problem is that for almost every medicine other than antibiotics, once you stop it, the problem comes right back. You haven't fixed anything. You were addressing symptoms. You weren't actually curing anything again, except for antibiotics. Uh, that's one problem. The other problem is you have massive amount of side effects because you were trying to interact at the lowest level. It's right. It's like I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to program this computer by changing the uh, the melting point of copper. Like maybe you can do things that way, but my God, it's hard to to, to program at the right at the at the hardware level. So what what I think we're 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 starting to understand is that, and and by the way, this goes back to what you were saying before about uh, that that we could have access to our internal state, right? So people who practice that kind of stuff, right? So yoga and and, and biofeedback and those those are all the people that uniformly will say things like, well, the body has an intelligence and this and that. Like those two sets overlap perfectly because because that's exactly right. Because once you once you start thinking about it that way, you realize that the better locus of control is not always at the lowest level. This is why we don't all pro program with a soldering iron, right? We 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 take advantage of, of the high level intelligences that are there, which means trying to figure out, okay, which of your tissues can learn, what can they learn, uh, why, you know, why is it that um, certain drugs stop working after you take them for a while with its habituation, right? And so can we understand habituation, sensitization, associative learning, these kinds of things in chemical pathways. We're going to have a completely different way, I, th I think. Um, we're going to have a completely different way of, of using drugs and of medicine in general when we start focusing on um, the goal states and, and on the intelligence of our subsystems as opposed to treating everything as if the only path was micromanagement from chemistry upwards.